Hello, I'm Emily O'Hare, a genomic analyst at the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard. This video will provide an overview of the information available for each variant returned from a seeker search. The gene name is displayed on the far left. When this is clicked, you will be brought to the gene page, which will be reviewed in a separate video. Genes that have been previously associated with a disease phenotype in OMIM will be labeled with an orange in OMIM tag. You can hover over this tag to view or link out to the associated OMIM phenotype page. Similarly, genes that are known to be either missense or loss of function constrained will be labeled with a red constraint tag and genes listed in any gene list that has been added to the project will be labeled with a blue gene list tag. Any variant that has been previously submitted to ClinVar will have a ClinVar tag in the upper left corner. This includes the reported interpretation for the variant. Clicking this tag will link out to the ClinVar page for that variant. Variants that have been reported as benign or likely benign are shaded in green, while variants reported to be pathogenic or likely pathogenic are shaded in red. Variants that fall across multiple gene transcripts will display each affected gene here. For a quick reminder of the phenotype of the case you are analyzing, you can hover over the pedigree symbols to view the HPO terms that have been added for each individual, or you can hover over the case ID for an overview of any notes that have been added to the family page for the case. To the right of the gene name is variant information including the variant impact annotation, HGVS nomenclature, and genomic coordinates. Hovering over the variant annotation will display the transcript that is being used. Clicking it will display all of the alternative transcripts for the gene, as well as the consequence of the variant in each of those transcripts. Seeker generally shows the worst annotation, so it may not be showing the canonical or main transcript in some situations. Clicking the genomic coordinates will link out to the variant's position in the UCSC genome browser. The genotypes of each of the individuals in the family are displayed down below. Hovering over the genotypes displays the read depth, genotype quality, and allelic balance of the variant. To visualize the read data for the variant in IGV, click on show reads. Please note that this option is only enabled if the BAMs or CRAMs are on Anvil or Terra. A review of how to look at the IGV data is covered in another video. In the center of the page are various in silico prediction scores for the variant, with red scores indicating more damaging predictions, yellow moderate, and green more benign. When available, you can click show more to expand these and hover over them to see what cutoffs we use to assign the colors. We don't put a lot of weight on these, but do consider them with other evidence. On the far right, you can view the frequency of the variant in reference population databases and the call set. Allele counts are displayed if you hover over the frequency values. Clicking any of the blue links will link out to your specific variant in the respective population database. To maximize the amount of reference data used, we use the maximum population allele frequency, POPMAX, for about 125,000 exomes from Nomad V2 and about 70,000 genomes from Nomad V3. There is overlap between V2 and V3, and you can explore this further if needed by visiting the specific variant pages and clicking the allele frequency. We also show data from TopMed that you can view in the Bravo browser noting there may be some overlap between the TopMed and Nomad datasets. You can see the Nomad subsets to identify any overlap. If there are other individuals in the call set reported to have the same variant, clicking the seeker link underneath the variant coordinates allows you to search for that specific variant across all of your seeker projects. Please note that this is different from the seeker link next to the gene name, this link will bring you to a page showing any variants that have been previously tagged in that same gene across your seeker projects. Clicking the Nomad link next to the gene name will bring you to the Nomad page for that gene. The gene search link will search for any other variants that the family you are analyzing has in that same gene. 
This link is especially useful when trying to identify a second hit for a recessive condition. Lastly, the Google and PubMed links under the variant will search the respective website for any information or literature available on that variant. As you are assessing a variant, you can take notes by clicking the Add Note button and then typing in the text box. Seeker tracks the last person to edit a note and the date. Once a note is started, you can further edit it or add an additional note. Variants of interest can be flagged by clicking the toggle next to review. Similarly, if you have ruled out a variant, you can mark it as excluded. Additional tag options can be accessed by clicking edit tags. These include variant classification terms and follow-up steps such as Sanger confirmation. Once a variant is tagged, you can easily access it again later by clicking on the saved variants bar on the family page. The saved variants page will show you any variant in which you have added a tag and or note. You may choose to view only variants with specific tag categories. You can also change the way the variants are displayed by using the sort by dropdown menu. And you can remove any variants you previously ruled out by clicking the hide excluded button. Thank you for watching and good luck analyzing your cases.